Hello, this is Lucy Spragan. Thank you for watching Music News and you can subscribe just here. Lucy Spragan, it's a pleasure to meet you. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Yeah, not too bad, not Good. too bad at all. Um, you're here at HMV for an in-store, a new album signing of We Are. Uh, released on Monday, it's the third album. Are you happy with the results? Yeah, so far I'm uh, pretty excited with the reception of We Are. It's uh, it's one of those things you always like highly anticipate it and you get really nervous and you think, oh, this is going to take so long for this to come out. And then it inevitably is out before you can <laughs> even think about it. So uh, yeah, it's been good. Excellent. Uh, the new single, Unsinkable, was released last month, a great tune. What more can fans expect from the album? Um, the album's sort of quite, quite mature. Uh, it's, it's certainly more mature than my last album. Um, it's, it's mainly about sort of defiance and sort of, it's storytelling um, and it's quite honest. So yeah, I guess that's what you can expect. Do you, do you know? Do you like wearing your heart on your sleeve? But, you know? Well, I don't like it. It's just a trait <laughs> of mine that I've always had. Sometimes it's a bit of a pain, but uh, yeah, it's definitely there. Well, it gives you more of a connection with, <laughs> with your fan base, I guess. Yeah. Well, yeah. I cried on stage recently, actually. So yeah. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> how much. What was that? I was about? singing this song called Uninspired. It was the first time I've ever ever sung it live, and it's uh, it's it's a pretty meaningful one. It's on the album, and uh, yeah, I just didn't. There's a line that just basically says like thank you so much for being there like in its own way and uh, when I sang it everybody just started shouting my name and it was just very overwhelming a bit yeah, cringy that's a great moment <laughs> that's what it's all worthwhile um, what was your mindset going into this album and you know what's what's the overall message if there is one um, I think the overall message in it is I think it's just about sort of there's loads of messages actually each song has its own sort of like moral to it, I suppose. Um, so overall, it's, it's kind of just storytelling, um, and like some of it's factual, some of it's made up. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know. What's the what's the most sort of revealing factual bit that you had in there? I don't know. Factual wise, uh, the uninspired is about my like lack of ability to write creatively for a while. I don't know why it just completely disappeared from me. Um, and I felt completely uninspired, so I took that, put that into a song, and that's quite a deep song, so yeah. Mm. Um, I mean, you obviously did X Factor and various other competitions. What, what's your advice to aspiring singers? Um, it's, well, as aspiring singers, I'd say go for it, you know. Um, singer-songwriters? Sing, yeah, singer-songwriters. Singer-songwriters, I'd say, Probably have a little think about it before you do it. Uh, think, just check yourself. This is for anyone actually. Check yourself that you are like mentally mm -hmm. ready, prepared. Um, but also, you know, maybe hang back a little bit. Continue doing what you're doing. Uh, focus on your social media, your YouTube, uh, all that sort of thing, and hold back for a couple of years. See if it's the right choice for you. Yeah. What was it? A sort of much more of a sort of a whirlwind than you expected. I'm not really sure what I expected. I kind of like always avoid expectations uh, so that you don't well, have uh, too high or too low. It's all just a bit insane really uh, and kind of uh, it's, um, it's I like to think of it as kind of non-reality TV because it's quite far away from reality uh, once, that, once that aspect is taken away the actual show yeah, yeah. you kind of drop back into reality and then you're like well, that was a weird experience <laughs> so that would be my advice just take your time. What's your songwriting process? Um, it's usually pick up my phone and put put something into the notes. Just just looking around and walking down the street. Sometimes seeing someone that makes me think, and I'll just just start writing. Sometimes it's in like the most odd place, or at like three o'clock in the morning, I just start writing. But it can come from anywhere. Yeah. Uh, what's the best song you've ever written? Do you think? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know. I guess it would be uh, it would be too big-headed to say that any of my songs are the best I've ever written. But my favourite, uh, probably from the new album, is "The Postman," which is a story about a soldier who goes to war and writes letters to his wife every week. Uh -huh. And is that sort of rooted in any sort of reality? Yeah, I mean, I did quite a bit of research into World War Two. Uh, it's um, it's just a song about love, really, and the, hand and the importance of handwritten letters. 
Great stuff. What, uh, what artist inspires you? Who do you look for to get your inspiration? Uh, basically anyone that I listen to that I that just... Sometimes you listen to a song and you just think, oh, that's incredible. There's a, a trio, I think they might be sisters, they're from America and I forget their names, but they sing a song called uh, Crossing Muddy Waters at the moment, which is a cover of an older song and just things like that, things, older music really inspires me. I, I like something with a bit of history behind it. Great. Well, what made you first pick up a guitar? Actually, my brother played the guitar a lot better than me and he still does, uh, but I've always wanted to be better than my brother at something. So that was the reason I picked up the guitar. I'm still not, <laughs> not anywhere near as good as him. A bit. Time is always time. <laughs> Who are you listening to these days? Um, I listen to a lot of um, Watsky actually, he's an American rapper. Um, Andrew Duhon, he's a New Orleans um, bluesgrass sort of thing. Um, and not so much in the charts really, not too much in the charts. I like listening to me new music at the moment. Great. Um, you're on the UK tour, is that the best bit for you, getting out in front yeah, of your I Yeah, I love touring, I love meeting new fans every every day and uh, it's great, it's just, <laughs> it's just tiring. Um, but once you're on the road you, you have a great time and I love releasing albums too, like this, all this excitement is my favourite bit. Yeah, well, once the tour's over and the whole sort of media frenzy sort of calms down, what, what are you going to get up to? Um, well, hopefully we just end up crossing over the pond. We're looking at doing Australia, Germany and America later on this year. So when it stops here, it starts going somewhere else. <laughs> but just to relax, what would you do? Oh, uh, probably go camping or fishing. Uh, I, the thing yeah. about being on tour is that I can't go fishing that often, but I usually fish like once or twice a week. Fantastic. What's the, what's Boring. The what sort of would you like fishing for? Course fishing. Well, I've only just started course fishing, really, but like um, carp. Was, carp's quite fun. Whatever. Whatever comes out of the lake, really. That's excellent. So, me, I'm a bit of a fishing fan. Um, any new projects that you're going to be working on or you'd like to tell us about? Um, well, we're just, again, hoping to head across uh, to go and work with other people um, over overseas uh, and do some touring there. So, who knows who I'm going to write with on this uh, on the next record? Yeah, yeah. I mean, if your singing career hadn't worked out, what what would you see yourself? Doing? I always wanted to be a firefighter, actually, but I think now I've broken. I broke my left leg at Christmas, and I broke this one back in 2011. So <laughs> I think that's out the window. That option's closed. Well, thanks a lot for your time. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you. If you had to choose three songs that across your repertoire, that's you'd say these sum me up. Which uh, which three would you choose? Um, I think I would choose "Join the Club" from my old record, which is the title track from that one. Um, I would pick uh, "The Postman" and maybe "Unsinkable." Fantastic. Anything else to say to music news watchers? Uh, thank you very much for uh, tuning in and saying hello. Uh, I hope to see you on the road. Great stuff. Thanks Thank a lot. you very much, Cheers. man. Looking Cheers.